In the following video, I will show you how to answer question 10 of the January 2010 OCR Call 4 pass paper. Okay, let's take a look at the question straight away. It starts off by asking us to express 1 over 3 minus x, 6 minus x in partial fractions. Now, I'll show you the proper uh, long way, and I'll show you a quick way afterwards. You want to write 1 over... 3 minus x, 6 minus x, in the following form. Well, there are two distinct linear factors on the bottom, so their partial fractions are a, some number a, over the first distinct factor, plus some number b over the second distinct factor. And these two statements would be identical to each other. OK, multiplying uh, to make common denominators on this side, I would then get that 1 over 3 minus x, 6 minus x, would be identical to a, 6 minus x, plus b, 3 minus x, all divided by 3 minus x, 6 minus x, so 1, the, because the denominators are the same, the numerators must now be the same. So 1 is equivalent to a, uh, 6 minus x, plus b, uh, 3 minus x. OK, so putting in values, let's change colour pen. Let's put in a value, let's say x is 3. Then I'll get 1 is identical to um, 6 minus 3, which is 3, 3a. So a is a, th a third. And if I put uh, x is equal to 6 in there, I'll get 1 is equivalent to, this disappears, I'll, 3 minus 6 is minus 3, so I'll get minus 3b, so b is minus a third. So therefore, expressing this in, in partial fractions, I would therefore get a is 1 third, which I'm going to write as 1 on top, and 3 on bottom, so as follows. And the other one was minus a third, so it's going to be minus 1 on top, 3 on bottom, 6 minus x. And hence we have our partial fractions. The quick way would be, uh, because they're two distinct linear factors, I can use what's called the cover-up method. I cover up this one, and I substitute in the number that would make that one uh, 0. So I substitute in 3 into the rest, 1 over... Uh, 6 minus 3, which is 1 over 3, would be my number for a. So I know a is 1 over 3. And I do the exact same for the other one. I cover up that one and put in the number into the remaining that would make that 0. So put in 6, 1 over 3 minus 6, which is 1 over minus 3. So that one must be 1 over minus 3. And I could just write it straight out like that. On to part 2. It tells us the chemical reaction... Uh, the amount x grams in the substance is changing uh, with respect to time in the following differential equation, and it gives us some boundary conditions. It asks us to show that k is a third ln 5 over 4, this constant k. How I'm going to solve this is, as usual, separating variables and integrate. I'm going to bring everything with x onto one side, so divide both sides by 3 minus x, 6 minus x, and then I'm going to multiply both sides by dt, to get um, the t on this side, and I'm going to integrate. So all in one move, I'm going to do as follows. I'm going to get 1 over 3 minus x, 6 minus x, dx, with an integral, must be equal to k dt and the integral of this. Now, how do I integrate this on the left-hand side? Well, I can't as it is, but I can if I express it as partial fractions. So you should be thinking back to part one. This is actually the integral, and we've seen, of 1 over 3, 3 minus x, minus 1 over 3, 6 minus x, all with respect to x. And this here is a simple integral. This integrates to kt plus some other constant of integration, which I'll call c. So let's integrate this side. This integrates simply to minus a third ln of 3 minus x, 
and this integrates to uh, this would integrate to minus a third ln six minus x, but you've already got a minus, so this becomes plus a third ln uh, six minus x is equal to kt plus c. I might combine all these. I'll factorise out a third, and I'll get ln six minus x minus ln three minus x, which I combine to be ln six minus x divided by three minus x. And all of that is equal to kt plus constant c. Now I've got some boundary conditions here. Uh, t is 0 when x is 0 and t is 1 when x is 1 that I can substitute in to work out the constants c and uh, k. So let's do that. With a different coloured pen, I know when t is 0 that x is 0. So putting in x is 0 here, I just get a third ln 2. And putting in t 0 here, and this disappears, so I get that is equal to c. So I've worked out my first constant. So therefore, I've got a third ln 6 minus x over 3 minus x is equal to kt plus a third ln 2. And then I want to work, I've got when t is 1, x is 1. So subbing all that in, subbing 1 in here, I'd get a third ln 5 over 2, so 5 over 2 is equal to uh, 1 in here will just get me k plus a third ln 2. And I could subtract a third ln 2 off both sides and get that k is equal to a third ln 5 over 2 minus a third ln 2. So then uh, factorising out the third, I get a third ln a third of ln 5 over 2 minus ln 2 is equal to k. And I can use my uh, subtract with ln's rule. Ln a take away ln b is ln a over b. So ln 5 over 2 minus ln 2 is ln 5 over 2 divided by 2, which is 5 over 4. So I get k is a third ln 5 over 4, which is as required in the question. So moving on to the last part, it wants the value of x when t is 2. So let's go back and write out our answer to the differential equation, the particular solution. Our answer is then uh, given by um, this, this formula here. So it's a third ln 6 minus x over 3 minus x. So the particular solution is a third ln 6 minus x over 3 minus x is equal to... Um, it's kt, and k is a, thir a third ln 5 over 4, so this is a third ln 5 over 4, all multiplied by t, and plus, our, plus the constant of integration which we had was a third ln 2. So we get plus a third ln 2. So that's our particular solution. We want to find x when t is 2, so we substitute in t is 2. We get a third ln... 6 minus x over 3 minus x must be equal to, well, this is 2, so I'm going to have 2 thirds ln 5 over 4 plus a third ln 2. Why don't I times everything by 3 to remove the thirds? And I get ln 6 minus x over 3 minus x would be equal to 2 ln 5 over 4 plus ln 2. Um, I could bring the power of 2 up, actually. It might make things slightly easier. I would get ln 5 over 4 squared, which is 25 over 16, plus ln 2. And I could combine these luns by multiplying them. So that's ln 50 over 16. That's 2 times 25 over 16. And all of this is equal to ln 6 minus x over 3 minus x. So if two luns are equal, the uh, number... Uh, inside the LUNs must be the same, so 6 over x divided by 3 minus x must be equal to 50 over 16. Multiply both sides by 16 and multiply both sides by 3 minus x, you get the following. 16, 6 minus x is equal to 50, 3 minus x. Multiplying out, uh, 16 times 6 is equal to 96 minus 16x is equal to 150 minus 50x. 
Add 50x to both sides, subtract 96. If I added 50x to both sides, I would get 34x is equal to 150 minus 96, and I'd get 54. And dividing both sides by the 34, I would get x is 54 over 34, and 54 over 34 is 27 over 17. So x is equal to 27 over 17. Okay, thank you very much for listening and watching this video. I hope you found it useful in your revision.